Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video where today I'm going to be teaching you how to perfectly balance a three axis gimbal. Now the three axis gimbal which I'm going to be using is the Zion Crane Plus. You might have a slightly different one at home yourself you're trying to balance. Now that doesn't matter at all because they all pretty much look the same and they all pretty much have the same adjustments and adjustment screws and bolts in the same sort of place. So if you watch this video and you understand how I've done this you can probably put the same methods into balancing the one you've got at home as well so before we get started there's just one thing to point out is just double check that the payload of the gimbal is actually going to be okay with the actual camera you're going to be using so i know that this gimbal here can take up to two and a half kilograms of camera weight and the camera i'm going to be using is the canon 70d and i know that this weighs less than the two and a half kilogram camera weight what this uh, gimbal is capable of if you're going to be using a big heavy camera then these gimbals aren't going to be good enough for you but most kind of mirrorless and dslr type cameras can fit on these types of gimbals but just double check the weight of your camera can fit onto that gimbal if it's all okay then we can get started with actually balancing it onto the gimbal but just point out now make sure that you take off your lens cap add in your sd card or micro sd card whatever card it takes and also make sure that the battery is included and inside of the camera before we start balancing it because if you balance it and then you think you haven't put a battery in you put your battery in that will make it go off balance because obviously you're adding weight to this camera after you've balanced it so just point that out that you just need to make sure that everything is going to be okay with that camera so you might have a quick release plate you can add quick release plates to the gimbal but i'm literally going to be using the screw included with the gimbal and adding my camera to this base plate so by doing this i'm literally just screwing it straight onto this base plate once that's on and nice and tight we go through each axis of the three axis gimbal one at a time so as you can see here that the camera is constantly falling backwards so i know that the weight of the camera is too far back it needs to be balanced out by pushing it forward so if i undo one of the screws underneath i can basically slide my camera forward until it gets to a good balance and as you can see it's still falling backwards keep pushing it forward now i've gone too far we pull it back a tiny little bit until we get to the point where it is perfectly balanced now it does take a little bit of getting used to by how small some of the adjustments have to be so i can see now that the gimbal and the camera is balanced and it's not falling either way it's holding itself so i can tighten that screw up we move on to the next one which is basically this one up here so if i put the camera pointing directly up as you can see it's falling backwards again so if i undo this screw here i can slide it the opposite way than it's falling tiny little bit of adjustment until again that it's holding itself if i tighten that screw up now in theory both axes will be balanced so it's balanced this way and now it's also balanced pointing up so straight and up is absolutely fine we move on to the next one which is this back one right here if we let go again you can see that the camera is constantly falling to the left which basically means i undo this screw here and i move the camera in the opposite direction that it's falling in so tiny little bit of adjustments until we get to the point where it is going to be balanced and it's a tiny tiny bit more so there we go as you can see now i'm letting go and it's holding itself so i make sure i tighten that screw up nice and tight so like i just said it's going to be balanced that way it's balanced that way now if i let go it should be all oh, no tiny tiny bit again it does take a little bit of back and forth sometimes if you adjust one it might make the other one slightly out so just go back and forth a few times so as you can see now the camera is balanced that way it's balanced that way it's basically balanced on all these axes the only one we haven't done is this one back here which is this bottom one now there's a few different ways of doing this some people like to lie it flat onto a table or you can just hold it yourself but the easiest way is just to pick up the gimbal and hold it sideways now if i hold it sideways as you can see this is going to the top so i basically know that this isn't perfectly balanced because it needs to be basically nice and flat and straight so if i undo that adjustment and i slide it into the way it's falling as you can see there look, it's going straight to the top so i need to do the opposite now take it back and forth 
it slightly lower, so I do the, the same thing again. See, now it's almost level. It's just, it's just slightly out. So again, these tiny, tiny little adjustments each time. And there we go. As you can see here, let me turn around for you, that if I hold it sideways, it's almost level. Now you can see the camera's slightly gone a little bit skew with again. That basically means that we might have to just go back through those same adjustments again and just make sure, oh, that's strange. Just make sure that we get all these balance. Maybe I didn't quite tighten these up enough and it's uh, gone off balance again. But that's the thing with balancing these things. If we move one, it might actually start moving the other. So just make sure we tighten them all up, otherwise they will slightly move themselves. As you can see, we're almost there. Just a tiny bit on that axis. Make sure it's nice and tight. So now we're good that way. We're good that way. And also, we're good that way. As you can see now, it is perfectly level sideways in every single way it is balanced. So if I put it in any direction, it will just be holding it itself. Now I know that that is perfectly balanced. If I just hold the on button on now, there we go. The camera is now perfectly balanced on this gimbal and I can use it and it's gonna be absolutely fine and it's not gonna basically freak out because it's not balanced properly at all. So that is pretty much how you balance a three axis gimbal. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if yours is slightly different, just constantly move and adjust it so it's always level. Go through one axis at a time, making sure that we tighten up the bolts every time we do that axis, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. You might have to go through it a few times to get that perfect balance, but once you have, and you understand it, it becomes super quick and super easy to actually do. If I was to put a different camera on here, I could probably balance this within about one or two minutes. So the more you do it, the quicker you actually become at balancing these cameras. The first time you do it, it will probably take you five, 10, 15 minutes. You might get a little bit frustrated, but trust me, it does get a lot easier over time. And hopefully watching me do this has made it easier to understand for you. And hopefully you found this video fun, interesting, informative if you have, please give it a big fat thumbs up. If you wanna see any more gimbal type videos or any more filmmaking tutorial tips or something, please let me know what you wanna see in the comment section down below. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've uh, enjoyed it and you wanna hang out a little bit more, you can always hit the subscribe button and follow me on this filmmaking random adventure. But anyway, enough of me. Thank you for watching. I will leave you with those three very important things, which are as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. Goodbye.